Diane Williams, another one of our uh, close friends, close friends with uh, Louise Karamgard, lived near her, right in town. And uh, she, she as well became a teacher in, in Romeo. And, uh, but she was in band and she was in chorus with us and uh, uh, very nice. Diane Williams, Honor Society, class officer, um, she was an office um, staffer, um, teacher's aide. She was in their band, very, very good student. Diane Williams was one of my very good friends and um, she had a beautiful voice. Uh, she, you know, could really sing and she was just, you know, a very, very lovely person. Vicki Jackson, a very close friend of mine, um, a neighbor. Um, we did a lot together on the weekends. Very smart on uh, National Honor Society. Um, uh, just very active in our class. Um, very smart girl. Vicki Jackson, very smart. Um, I think she grew up right in downtown New Haven as well. I'm not sure, but she might have been one of the smartest gals in our class. She was uh, very serious, good looking, and uh, studious, like I say, fun. She was always involved in activities of the, uh, the school and our class, and she was probably one of our student officers in, in class. Sandra Leroy uh, was in our group. Um, she was musically inclined. Uh, she had a good voice. She was a good friend, and we did a lot of things together. Very sweet, very good musically. One of our best friends in our group, uh, one of my best friends, and uh, even though she was my cousin, she was very close. David Murphy. Um, David was a good friend. Um, he was very social, very outgoing, very funny. Oh, loved to joke, practical joker. David Murphy, he was uh, very tall and thin. He was uh, funny, um, yet, yet quiet in a lot of circles. Janice Poley was one of my good friends. We were neck and neck for, you know, the top spot in the class and, you know, we were, you know, virtually indistinguishable in terms of, you know, to having top grades. Um, very, very sharp girl and very nice. Janice Poley, see her every once in a while. Uh, she was quiet at the time, um, and, uh, but very smart, uh, very studious, uh, very involved in a lot of the things that went on at the school. Janice Poley um, was also um, a pianist. She, she was in the band. She was um, on the National Honor Society. She held a class office, um, quiet, but um, she was a nice, nice lady. Frida Vincent, very thin, tall, talked all the time, um, chatterbox, popular. Frida Vincent was very I want to say hard, fragile, but funny, funny lady, funny lady. Marsha Phipps, she was part of our group. She, she was really, really nice, and she had a, a really um, sweet, almost kind of southern way about her. I liked her. Marsha Phipps uh, was in, I believe she was in band and choir, uh, very smart, uh, one of the smartest gals, and, uh, very funny, uh, just very lively, energetic, uh, very involved in everything that uh, we did as a class. Marsha was, um, I believe she was on the Honor Society, a very good student, um, teacher's aide, very helpful, worked in the office. Tall, thin, good looking girl. She was fun to be around. Uh, I lost touch with her. Probably once we got into high school, she was in different classes. Colleen Dickinson, um, good pitcher, excellent uh, softball player. Um, she also, um, she was on the quiet side. Bonnie Balo, she came into our school later that I, I remember, probably in maybe um, junior high or something. Uh, but I remember her, she was more 
uh, at that time it was the mod uh, look and that. She was uh, very mod looking, um, always wore uh, the latest, I guess you might say. Bonnie Bailo, very, very quiet, very good student, um, teacher's aide, very personable but quiet. Bonnie Bailo uh, was an art student and she was best friends with um, Rosemary Hornack. Uh, short, petite, pretty girl. Um, also had a crush on her, but she was uh, very popular, both in grade school and high school. Roger Saltz. Um, Roger's a lot of fun, real social, athletic, um, class clown. Roger Schultz, a uh, very funny guy. Um, he was very popular as well. He was uh, in a lot of a lot of sports. Played football, basketball, um, and uh, he was a bigger guy. Uh, and I think Roger married uh, Betty Jagoda. Raymond Kona. Ray was an athlete. He um, good student, um, funny, but he was reserved also. Uh, Ray Conner was a very quiet guy. Maybe he played sports, I can't recall. But uh, I know he was quiet, he was uh, smart. Um, lived in uh, New Haven, I think off of Gratiot. Alice Choice was a very good friend of mine, um, a neighbor. We did a lot of things together. Alice was very social, very funny. She didn't play ath athletics, but she was always at all the games. I mean, real, real social, really, really nice, nice lady. Very funny, uh, very nice girl. Um, she grew up in New Haven as well. Um, her brother or cousin married my sister. Alice Torres, um, outgoing, laughed a lot, um, you know, nice, nice person. Yvonne Roberts. Yvonne Roberts was a National Honor Society student also. She was very smart, very funny, um, very chancy, liked to take chances. Alan Bondar knew him, I think starting in like seventh grade, but he ended up um, very musically inclined. He had an organ uh, that he started his own band. And as far as I know, he might, he might still be in music, but uh, very talented. Alan Bondar, the life of a party. Band member, um, anything radical, he was in for it. Sharon Paul probably was the, the most quiet student in our class. We were a pretty vocal class, and she was an athlete, but she was um, very quiet and soft-spoken. Uh, Richard Mask, very uh, tall, thin. Um, he was um, quiet, um, shy, very smart, as I recall. Kathleen Walton, um, she wasn't athletic, but she's very, she's a vocal type person. Funny lady, too. Very good sense of humor, joker. Brenda Kovich, very, very funny. Uh, I don't think she. I don't think she was shy much, maybe a little shy, but she talked all the time. She was cousins with a good friend, John Kovich, um, I think cousins. Linda Beatty, um, very personable, a good friend. We did a lot of uh, social things together. I remember Linda was in a lot of my earlier classes. As we got into high school, she was in other classes, but uh, um, yeah, she was always, uh, always fun. Yeah, but I, I remember her younger more than I do older because she was always in my younger classes. But uh, she was probably in second grade with me or maybe even kindergarten, who knows. Deborah Duncan, um, I remember that she lived in town and she was, you know, kind of with the popular crowd. Debbie Duncan, a good friend. Um, we socialized a lot together. Um, she was very involved in our class um, functions. Deborah Duncan, uh, she was daughter of uh, Mr. Duncan on Duncan Funeral Homes. I didn't know her until I started going to New Haven High School or junior high. So I didn't, I didn't know her when she was real young. Um, very popular. Uh, 
with the New Haven kids because obviously she knew them. Um, and she's very active, like I say, very popular and uh, involved in a lot of things at school. Claudia Akers, um, very likable, very humorous, funny, real funny. Life of the party. Claudia, um, very energetic, live, uh, funny, make you, make you laugh. She's a good friend. Just fun to be around. Mark Young was um, one of those attractive guys that all the girls um, went after. Average, average student, good athlete, nice guy. Mark Young, very, uh, he was very popular, tall, good looking guy, um, good in sports and that, um, and uh, just a really nice guy. Mary Ann Gramlick, um, I socialized with her, a lot of fun, um, very smart, very smart girl, very artistic. Mary Ann Gramlick, red hair. She was, I had red hair, bright red hair, you can tell, um, you know, but uh, she was uh, one, I believe it was her, she, she was you know, one of the few others that had uh, uh, red hair, and I kind of grew up with her as well. Very smart, pretty girl. Marianne Gramlich uh, rode our bus and uh, she was friends with Rosemary Hornack. She was an interesting gal. Kenneth Cook, quiet, farm boy, um, and then didn't play sports, wasn't over social. Laura Amick, uh, very nice. Uh, we built all of our, our floats in her barn uh, for many years and, and uh, Several of our floats won first place, but uh, we always used uh, her barn, and uh, she's fun to be around. Laura Amick was a very um, cheerful, you know, very nice girl. Vicky Quibble, a lot of fun, just real social. We had classes together. Um, either you were more on the radical or you're the quiet in our class. She was on the quiet side. Vicki Quibble, uh, very tall, red hair, very popular. I think I took her, or she took me to the Sadie Hawkins dance one time, um, but uh, we were friends. Uh, she, she was in our group, um, and uh, just very smart and fun to be around. Connie Burgess, she was very quiet in school. Um, kind of shy. Um, she was a teacher's aide. Connie, uh, a pretty girl. She, uh, I think she started in our class a little junior high. I don't know, maybe younger. And um, I think she married, I'm not sure, but she may have married like Lynn Ryan. Uh, they may still be uh, uh, married, um, but very popular girl. Wally Maker. Wally and I um, were friends. Uh, Wally was a you know, smart guy. He was a golfer. He, you know, he played sports. You know, just a good guy. He wasn't overly friendly, uh, but he had a great sense of humor. Wally Makar, nice guy, tall. It was the uh, first time I met him, he was in Little League. Um, and, um, but he was in sports, uh, probably football. He was in band. Um, choir, um, very popular guy. Betty Jagoda was um, was in the group that I ran with, and uh, she was in band, and she was best friends with Mary, who uh, Mary Jones. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Betty Jagoda. Um, Betty was very smart, quiet on the more of the quiet side. She was also a cheerleader. But again, she was uh, fun. She was very quiet or um, uh, shy when she was younger, and uh, but uh, very smart. Ernest Berkeley, um, quiet guy, um, stayed to himself, not real social. I know him as uh, Ernie, and he was one of the first people I know. He's very, he's kind of short. His first guy I knew that got accepted to West Point. Now, whether he went or not, I don't recall. Um, his middle name was Ned or Neb, 
Mary Jane Maidens. Um, Mary Jane um, was very funny, very humorous, uh, quiet, but she also was a nice, nice lady. Philip Folson um, uh, was real fun, uh, very funny guy, and uh, I think we were both co um, MCs for our graduation. He was truly a brother. Um, but he was uh, really a close friend and uh, joked around a lot with him. I think he was in track, he was in other sports, I believe, and uh, just a very funny guy. Philip, very social, um, good athlete, played in the band, um, a nice guy. Aaron Salady was tall, lived out in Mead, um, moved to our area, uh, probably Probably when I was in sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade, he was um, more of um, what do I want to say a uh, a greaser, you might say, um, and uh, very interested in cars and stuff like that. So uh, he was um, what a nice guy. He was a really nice guy. Aaron um, was a partier. He enjoyed. He was a smart guy, but he never really lived up to his potential. He'd rather party and work on cars than hit the bucks. Linda McInnes, uh, another very pretty girl, uh, short uh, and petite and uh, very uh, smart. Linda McInnes was a very good friend of mine. Um, we worked um, after school on a co-op job together. Um, very nice young lady. Linda McInnes, she was a uh, very nice looking girl, very sweet, um, kind of popular, but you know, kind of quiet. She was, she was a sweetheart. Jenny moved here um, maybe in junior high, beginning of high school. It was kind of on the quiet, quiet, shy side in the beginning, but she warmed up, very, very sweet girl. Barry Haley, he was in high school a goofball, you might say. He was in band, uh, played, a, I think, the trumpet, cornet or whatever, but um, we were in band together. He was uh, uh, always fooling around, sometimes getting into trouble, um, but uh, I believe he's now a minister, um, and uh, he married one of the gals from, uh, from school. Larry. Larry was uh, probably in the top ten of our class. Very smart. He was not an athlete, but he was very social. Very likable guy. Larry Walton. Uh, what a guy. Very funny. Very nice. Uh, goofed around with him all the time. Um, and uh, he's just a very popular guy. Everybody liked him. And uh, uh, just a real nice guy. John Kovich, very quiet, outstanding athlete. Um, and um, very social. John Kovich, uh, he was fun. I knew him ever since he was little. He was um, lived on Omo Road, I believe. Um, we, uh, we were always uh, uh, best of friends uh, in our younger grades as we got older. Um, he had different classes. Um, he was big and uh, strong, uh, I remember, and not sure whatever happened to John, but uh, he was a good guy. Richard Charlton ran with our group. He was in a lot of my classes. He was, you know, class president. Um, he was a good guy. Richard Charlton, um, he was our class president when we graduated. Uh, I believe he owned a welding shop. Uh, last I heard, he maybe still does. Started going to school together probably in, if not kindergarten, in first and second grade. Rich was probably the tallest guy in our class, or at least for a while anyway. He was a big guy. Uh, played football, I believe. Yeah. Good head on his shoulders. Richard Shelton. He was our class president. Um, he was in, played in the sports. Eddie Fissler is funny. He was my friend uh, for a long time. Ed was a little short. He uh, he was fun to be around, funny but shy, and uh, he was good in track. In fact, we used to call him Mr. Machine because once he started running uh, in cross country or in long distance running, 
uh, you couldn't stop him. Edward Fistler um, actually uh, ended up marrying my sister. Um, he uh, was in track and uh, he's kind of a quiet guy when he was in high school. Dave I knew for a long time. He's kind of a quiet guy. I think in the later once we got to high school um, he was in other classes again and so I didn't see a lot of him but he was real tall I remember and yeah, just uh, just a real nice guy kind of shy and uh, but uh, he was a nice guy. Mary Jones one of the honor students we had a lot of smart people in our class of a, um, she was uh, she had a class office Sally Hartwig, she was, and I think she lived, grew up right in downtown New Haven. Pretty gal. Uh, she was uh, tall, thin. Um, she was funny. Sally Hartwig was a neighbor, lived down the street. Um, we were social. Um, we went to games together, went and hung out, went out for lunch and dinner. Wanda Lee was quiet, very smart again. She may have played sports, I can't recall. Oh, she was just always one of the smartest ones in our class. Uh, very serious. Wanda Lee was very smart and very quiet. Um, she participated in class functions, but she was more on the reserve side. Mike Hennessy, I want to say he was in sports like baseball and that, but um, very serious, quiet, as I recall. Rosemary Hornack, um, very quiet, reserved, um, not real social, but she was a good student. Rosemary Hornack, um, I didn't. She rode our bus. Um, she actually lived close to the farm, you know, where I grew up. Um, I didn't know her that well in high school, but we actually became friends after one of the reunions. We found out that we, um, she had a son, and I had a daughter that were close in age. And um, we actually, I spoke to her maybe about a year ago. Um, we've kept in touch over the years. Uh, she, be, she was an art student. I don't know, she, I, I like her. I like Rosemary. Ruth Thomas was Miss Prim and Proper, very attractive girl on the, um, the Queen's Court, um, really a nice. Um, she came here um, in like, in the beginning of high school, so, um, but she fit right in. Sylvia Diaz, uh, I do remember her. She was kind of a little more mature and, you know, she had a way about her. She was like, you know, a little more sedate perhaps and uh, kind of grown up. Sylvia Diaz, a lot of fun. Socialized with her in school. Went to a lot of the um, baseball, basketball games, tracks. Sylvia Diaz, short, petite, uh, funny, a little quiet. Probably around her friends she wasn't, but uh, uh, she's a very nice gal. She was always involved in everything. Um, uh, nice gal. Michelle LaRue was a very good friend of mine. She's very smart. She was very classy. Um, she wasn't real popular. She was more quiet, but um, she was a good friend. Uh, Michelle LaRue grew up uh, in Mead. Her father uh, owned um, Mead Lumber Yard. She grew up right across from it on Indian Trail and 26 Mile Road. Uh, very short and petite, uh, pretty girl, very popular, somewhat shy though, uh, when she was younger. Marianne Gafke, we called her Diane Gafke. Um, a lot of fun, liked to party, good student. She was very pretty, very tall, thin, popular, uh, and I, I had her in a few of my classes. Guy, a lot of fun, athlete, um, very social. Um, he was one of the uh, guys that the girls really w fell in love with, had a crush on. Guy Milton was uh, one of the popular guys, always in sports, um, and uh, smart guy, um, and, uh, but I didn't have him in a lot of my classes. Guy Milton, popular. I think he was student council president and in uh, senior year I actually played opposite him, um, the female lead to his male lead and it was a lot of fun. Dennis Dark, a wild man. Very social, very party, 
atmosphere, very friendly, would help you if you can. Wayne Bliss, um, he was my buddy since uh, kindergarten, I think. Um, we were in uh, everything together, band, uh, some of the sports that we were in. Uh, we always were daredevils on uh, the playground from when we were little. Um, but uh, yeah, Wayne was one of my best buddies. Wayne Bliss, an athlete, kind of a unique sense of humor. You gotta really listen to what he was saying to get the joke. Nancy Haas, I see her, a Hasi. Uh, I see her uh, every once in a while um, now that we've graduated. But very nice girl, uh, kind of quiet, uh, a little shy maybe, a pretty girl as well. Nancy Hasi. Uh, Nancy was quiet, didn't play sports. Um, she was an average student. Bonnie Belt, oh, we call her Bonnie. She, I had her in my class probably since I was in kindergarten. And just, I had a lot of fun friends. So uh, she was a friend, and, um, and she, she was friends, uh, good friends with all my cousins. Bonita Belt, funny, um, smart, um, class officer. Um, she played sports. Okay, Lynn Ryan, um, he was one of the popular guys, uh, very nice looking, um, you know, well-rounded in terms of sports and, you know, activities. Lynn Ryan was a neighbor. He was one of the wild guys in class. Um, very sportsman, very social, very funny, um, all around nice guy. Lynn Ryan, very popular in a lot of sports. Um, I think he married Connie Burgess. I'm not sure of that. He was a very uh, nice guy. Like I say, very popular. Paulette, his sister, was a friend of mine also. She, she was outgoing, funny, very funny. Very pretty girl. Um, short, uh, petite, and um, as I recall, she was, uh, she was somewhat quiet. I know she was funny. Louise Karamgard uh, was a good friend. Uh, she was best friends with Diane Williams, and um, they were in band together. Um, but they, you know, the two of them, they were great friends. Um, uh, Louise Karamgard, I had her in kindergarten. I think I proposed to her in kindergarten. Um, and uh, her dad was a mailman, our mailman. Didn't meet her again until we went back to New Haven. Uh, middle school. Uh, in high school I had a crush on her. Um, she was always in band and chorus as well. Robert Heinze. Um, funny. Good sense of humor. You'd have to dig for the, for the jokes though, but uh, a smart guy. Bob Hines. I mentioned him before with Wayne Bliss, two of my best buddies. We did everything together when we were young and uh, I think he still lives around here. I'd uh, like to get a hold of him again. Very smart. Uh, he was the first guy I knew could do any math problem in his head. Uh, add up as many numbers as you want. Uh, he could do it. He was very, very, very smart. Bridget, um, very friendly. Um, she played some sports. She was more on the quiet side as, as being a radical. She was more on the quiet. Arthur Harms, shorter guy, fun, funny. We had a lot of the same classes. Uh, he, as I recall, he was very smart. I think he was in sports as well. Janice Burrell, radical. Um, anything um, vocal, loud, against the norm, against the rules and regulations. Lori Reichenbach, she was either the salutatorian or valedictorian of our class. Uh, very smart, obviously. She was in chorus. Very smart, very fun to be around. Lori Rettenbach. Lori also um, very smart, <laughs> honor society student. Um, she worked in the office, very prim and proper. Deborah Mack, very, very funny, feisty. She, I had her in several classes. Uh, always, always good, but again, feisty. She knew what she what was right, and uh, she uh, she'd fight for it. Um, but a great gal. Richard Bentley, funny guy, athlete. Um, I believe he's on the Honor Society. Richard Bentley was um, part of the group that I hung out with. He was in the band, 
and you know he knew uh, you know a lot of the gals that um, were you know kind of in the group that I was in and he was in um, the college prep um, so he was in a lot of my classes I liked him you know he was, he was a good guy Linda Drelts, the smile says it all um, she was uh, she was pretty cool Linda Drelts, funny humorous athlete partier Michael Parton one of my best friends uh, lived close to Richard Shaltron he stood up at my wedding and uh, just very close friends he was quiet a little shy um, funny but um, nice guy Rosita Castellano she was a friend um, she uh, bossy <laughs> Rosita was bossy. Uh, Rosita was one of those funny gals, um, very lively, always seemed to be happy, um, had a good temper too, I think. Uh, uh, just, just fun, fun to be around. Rosita Castellano, um, she was always smiling and cheerful and, you know, she was a, a bubbly, she had a bubbly personality. I had fun, like I said, uh, mostly in band and choir, uh, in chorus, um, marching band, uh, the sports, uh, in track. Uh, I, I think I still hold the pole vaulting record um, there. Um, it's a good thing they stopped pole vaulting there, so I should hold it for a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, I like the teachers, um, uh, the school. It was just fun. The kids were fun. 